What? Where? Oh. Mama. Uh -uh. I thought you were coming back with your wife. Sorry, with who? No. I know you're angry. But you and I both know who I'm talking about. Mirabel left this afternoon, said she was coming to your office. So she's not back yet? She's not. Well, she came to my office and I threw her out. And that was like five hours ago, so she's supposed to be back. If she's not back, I don't know where she went. You threw her out of your office? Yes, I did. But... <laughs> If she left your office, she's supposed to have been home by now. But yeah. she's not. Mama, isn't it obvious? Isn't it obvious that she has gone to the man that makes her happy whenever she's sad? Of course, you know who I'm talking about. Sam! Jerry, no. No. Mirabel will not make that mistake again. <laughs> she will not. Uh, I know now she will not make that mistake again. Mama, mama, eh? mama. You clearly underestimate your daughter. Uh, Mirabel is not afraid of you. She doesn't respect me. She doesn't fear any consequences. Okay? She does whatever she wants, whenever she wants to. Okay? In fact, as far as I'm concerned, in my mind, this marriage is actually officially over. So we're just living here for living here <sighs> sick. <sighs> Excuse me. Hmm. Oh, hello? Yeah, Mr. Jerry here. What? Where? Y yes, I'm aware. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be on my way shortly. All right, thank you. What is it? Mama? Um... Mama? What is it? No, what happened? You, you, you just need to come, okay? Mirabel has been involved in an accident. What? And that's what I, I just said. I, I need to be in the hospital right now. I'm going with you. I'm are going you, with you. you. Okay. I'm going with you. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm so, so sorry, baby. I know I've been so mad at you. I've stayed so pissed at you for a very long time. But I never wish any harm to come to you. That's how much I love you. Now look at you here. It's never my intention, baby. But how am I supposed to look at you now, knowing that you're been with another man? How? How did you allow us to get to this point? And what happened to us? What happened to us? <laughs> God. <laughs> I'll be here, baby. I'll be here. I'm so sorry. Bro, I know you're very upset. All right? I know you're feeling bad. But for what I can see in this, your marriage to Mirabel have gone through a lot, a lot of temptation, trials, and tribulations. You understand? Um, I'm thinking, what if there is another conspiracy in all of this? How do you mean? Um, I'm not trying to say, huh? According to what you said, when you walked into the room, 
she was shocked. Yes. See me in there. Uh -huh. The same way you were shocked when she walked into the room, seeing you on peace. Right? Bro, she was shocked because I caught her. Wouldn't you be? Listen, bro. I, I need you to do something for me. On peace. What? I need you to do what your wife failed to do. All right? I need you to give her a listening ear. You understand? Give her a listening ear. Let's see how it goes. But what if her case is different? Then whatever your decision is, I'll back you up like I've always done. All right. Okay, Tony. I'll do as you said. Okay? I want you to conduct this test without our notice. You do have a point. Mm -hmm. Now she's now that she's unconscious, I think I should probably meet the doctor and then get it done already. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, bro. Come on. What? I should be the one thanking you, all right? Oh my god. Thank you for having me this thing. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's just see the doctor. Oh, Jerry. Hmm? Why don't you go home and let me stay and take care of her? Oh no, no, oh, Jerry. She's my wife, and it's my responsibility to take care of her, okay? Wow. So you still want to stay and take care of her after everything that happened? Jenny, come to think of it, after everything that has happened, she's still my wife, okay? And I'll take care of her. Oh, I really appreciate your kind gesture. After everything that has happened, it shows that there is hope. You can say that again, my dear. Um, according to the doctor, the results should be out in the morning. So we know where to go from there. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for staying strong. Have you had anything to eat? I'm good. I'm okay. Let me, let me just wait for you at the reception, okay? Mm. Where she gets better. I'm here. How, how do you feel? I'm feeling pain it's all over my body. I'm feeling so weak. Should I get the doctor? No. I'm happy now that you're okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything that happened. My heart aches. I, I want us to. Let me just get the doctor, okay? Just rest. Yeah. I'll just get the doctor, okay? I'll just get the doctor. There she is. So, Benita, this is where you've been hiding. Eh? I told you. You can only know what you can never hide. What are you hey. doing here? 
what are you doing here? And uh, how did you find me? Uh, <laughs> are you shocked? You look like you've seen a ghost. Now listen, please. Remember I keep telling you that this game you're playing, you would lose. Hmm? You lied to us that you're an orphan. Uh, you've been living in an orphanage home. Meanwhile, your actual name is Benita. And this is Marta, your mother. <laughs> Do you recognize her? Huh? Of course, she's my daughter. This girl here murdered my husband. This evil daughter of mine is the, is the reason I'm a widow today. Don't say that. Don't even go there. Please, go ahead. We've been looking for this girl for months. We've been everywhere searching for this girl. But unfortunately for you today, the long arm of the law has caught up with you. Long arm of law? Where was the long arm of law when your husband was forcefully sleeping with me? Repeatedly. I came reporting to you all the times. But you ignored me totally. Just because of the kind of love he was giving to you. The kind of life he was giving to you. And now you are here telling everybody that I murdered your husband, I did this and that. Eh? Now you are playing a sense. Hey, listen. The crime here is murder. That is the big crime. Okay? So as far as I'm concerned, you're going in for it. If I had opportunity to do it again, I would do it. It was self-defense. Self-defense? Okay. So play that card. Let's call that one self-defense. So what about me? What's my own? Self-approach? You don't know what you've been doing to me? What are you talking about? Please! You're under arrest. Not just for murder, but for felony. You repeatedly drugged this man and had your way with him. Now you're pregnant. All thanks to all your manipulative ways. You have a lot to explain. And this is not the right place. Certainly, this is not the right place. Now remember, this, or should I call you Benita? You boasted that you want to see us in court. You want to see my client in court. I'll be gladly see this your face in court. Can you prove it? Did you see me put anything in his drink? Prove it then. That's what you think. We ran some tests. And we found out that there's traces of drugs in the system. Mm -hmm. So you understand what that means, right? Considering when you took that picture and when the drugs took effect, everything is written down in this piece of paper. Okay? <laughs> Please. Please arrest this guy. Let's help me for all her crimes. What are we talking about, talking about here? Arrest her now! Is that what you can say? Yes! You know, mothers like you are the reason we end up this way. When your husband was forcefully sleeping with me, I came to you, I reported everything to you. But you never fought for me. You never stood for me. All you care about was the kind of life he was giving to you. What kind of a mother would do that to her own child? <laughs> Let me tell you, I don't regret anything I did. The only thing I regret now is that I can't have Jerry. Yeah? I, I don't understand. How, 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 why? Yes. Why would Mirabe have the lo all the love? He had the love from the father, from the mother, from the husband, from everyone. Why? Why I always fought for everything. I fought for love. I fought for everything. I fought for happiness. No one cared about me. Not even my family. Peace. Peace or Benita. <laughs> Listen, I was never a prize. I was never yours to keep. I was already happily married before we met you. I love my wife. I am not the man for you. But I'm carrying your child. 
Listen, regardless of whatever you're carrying, you committed a crime and the law has to take its full course, okay? So please, go and pay for your crime. Are you still waiting? I like this girl now. You want to send me to jail? Don't forget I am going in there with your child. Yes, I do not forget that. But that is not a yardstick for you to go away from your crime, okay? You need to pay for your crime. Officers, please. Hello, Sam. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, you were thinking you go scot free with everything you've done. Officers, arrest this idiot. Hey. You're under arrest. Hey, hey, wait a minute. What is going on here? You still have mouth to talk. Hey, 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 How long you do with this idiot? Don't worry, let's have it. Take him away. Okay. You're under arrest. It, it's okay. It's okay. No problem. All right. Move! Let's go. Bastard! What you're telling me is Sam and Peace masterminded everything that happened to us? Mm hmm. Sam wanted you and Peace wanted me. Together they were in on it. Huh. And um, Sam also drugged you like Peace did me. Sam did what? Mm -hmm. Sam dropped me. Even though you were the one that took yourself to him. Honey, don't go over that again. I said I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, I, I, I saw a friend in Sam. I've always seen a friend in him because we were all time pals from school. I didn't know he had changed. I didn't know he grew feelings for me. I promise you. I'm sorry. So sorry. It's okay, baby. At least this is a lesson for you to know that we don't always see people as what we think of them. And we also need to be careful. Hmm? I'm going to be careful, I promise you. It's fine. Babe, we've, we've drifted apart so much. We're so close to each other, yet we're so far. I I don't know if we could ever rekindle this fire between us. Honey, I don't know if we could ever make things work. Just look at me, just look at me. I don't, I don't know if you could ever find a place in your heart to forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry my life is miserable without you, babe. I'm losing it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, I know. A lot of things has gone bad. A lot of things has really, really gone bad. But I believe we could try. If you're willing to try with me, I can try. Whatever I can to make it work. You're willing to try and make things work? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Babe, I promise you. I promise you. I'm never going to let a third party in again. I'm, I'm never going to make the costly mistake that I made before, honey. I'm sorry. It's okay, I'm sorry. I'm, it's okay. I'm going to focus on you. I'm going to put in my life. I'm going to make this work with everything in me. It's fine. Yeah. I believe that God will help us. Okay? Because anything, if we let God in, He will come in and take care of us. Okay? We, on the other hand, just need to avoid thought parties and focus on each other. Okay? I love you, baby. 
I love you too. It's so much. It's okay. So nothing happened between you and Chris? Nothing. Are you sure? Are you, like, seriously, you're asking me that right now? I just want to know. I cannot no stay thing. with anybody. It's okay. It's I'm just sorry. you. It's okay. I love you, baby. I love you, I love you. I love you. so much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my baby. That, that is my baby. You're back. <laughs>